I'd always wanted to go to art college. I wanted to go to art college after A-levels. I was persuaded not to, never make any money. So I've had a bit of a mixed bag as a career. Um, but I started painting abstracts uh, about 15 or 16 years ago when I saw some work and I thought I could do that. And I hadn't painted anything since A-level art. Um, and I was painting for a hobby. And about five years ago, I sold my business, which gave me some time to think, what can I do next? I decided to find some studio space and started painting. Thought maybe I could sell some of this work. And I did. And sort of gone on from there. What inspired me was two paintings uh, by an abstract artist that I had seen um, and I then was in a new gallery in Manchester and I saw similar work by the same artist and I just thought let's get some colour on the canvas. I, I wasn't impressed with what I saw, it's all very subjective but I thought let's see how it goes and it really was just for a hobby. I put them up at home on the walls um, I messed around with colour. I always wanted to paint quite big canvases. Uh, for me, a small painting doesn't have much impact. And that's how I started out. I've exhibited uh, four times in the UK and four times in the States. Yeah, in the last uh, three years. Yeah, really exciting. Generally, I, I have a couple of different styles. Um, but one that I've done a lot of is where I'm layering the colours up uh, and how I apply the colour to the canvas and I really like bright colours. I um, am currently considering something a bit more pastel -y, but I haven't approached it yet so we'll see how that goes. But so far I've been using a lot of bright colours and a lot of white so it really stands out against a white surface in, a, in an empty space. So I really want to make an impact with my work. Uh, and let it speak for itself uh, and most of my work takes time to build up the layers uh, so I can see some of the other colours coming through um, and although majority of my work isn't heavily textured I do add some texture to, as well to it so I add some different mediums but even just layering the paint on its own gives some depth to the work the final piece uh, and because I work in acrylics when they dry they can be quite dull and flat and I always finish my work in gloss varnish. I use a spray gloss varnish, uh, it gives a really nice even finish. Um, minimum three coats and it really brings the paintings alive, really makes them um, shout out. Size of my work, I prefer to paint large format. So preferably metre square as a minimum. I want my work to stand out in a space with no other competition for the viewer's eye, really. Uh, I want it to take over the space as a focal point. Um, so in a, in a domestic setting, why have a TV on the wall? Why not have a, a really great pop of colour on the wall? Uh, in a commercial space, just let that be the focus. So you've got uh, red with colour, yeah. which is really bright, lots of bright colours in. That started out as an experiment. I didn't really have an end goal in mind when I started that. And I had actually, the first one of the series, there were three, and I had put down some paint on the canvas, really didn't like it, and I completely overpainted it in red. I just wanted something bright on the canvas. And then I started adding colour and actually quite a lot of texture to it. Um, and I just built it up and added more and more. So there's a lot going on um, in that series of three. Um, two were sold quite a while ago and you now have the third one in the series. Abstract for me um, is having a free reign. Um, no boundaries, no constraints. Um, putting down on the canvas exactly what I want, how I feel um, and leaving the end result to be viewed however somebody wants to view it. I want something on the wall that doesn't immediately tell a story that the viewer can look at and say, oh, I can see that. And in fact, quite a number of pieces that I've painted where I 
think of a title for them. Sometimes I think of a title before I start. I know what I'm looking to do. And sometimes I haven't got a title until way after I've finished. And I can call whatever it is, and then somebody else will look at it and say, oh, I can see something else in that. And that's the beauty of it. Yeah, there's no limits. There's really no, I'm not limited by size. I'm not limited by landscape portrait format. Um, and all my work is actually only signed on one edge so that it can be hung in any direction. What's next for me? Um, ideally to have my own gallery and studio space where I can show my own work uh, and be able to work in the same place so that people can come in, view my work and see me actually in the process of producing my art. Um, as far as where my work goes, I would love to see it in big open spaces. Uh, the bigger the better. Painting is a huge um, happy place. And when people talk about, you know, they put their passion and their heart and soul into it, that's how it is. And it sounds really corny and cheesy, but that's exactly how it is. So I, I paint how I'm feeling and if people can see that on my work, great. And if they can't, that's fine too. It's all very, very subjective. <laughs>